I'm Miss Maestra, and this is Easy English. Are you ready to learn? Let's go. Hello, and welcome. Are you ready to learn some Easy English? I'm Miss Maestra, and I'm excited to share with you a beautiful language. Today, we're going to discuss ways to greet people, the alphabet, number, and of course, some grammar, which is vital to any language. So let's begin. Greetings are really important. Whether you greet your family in the morning when you wake up or a neighbor on the way to work or in the evening when you're greeting your family when you've arrived home. There's three different greetings you can use and never go wrong. The first one is, repeat, good morning. Good job. Good morning. This is a great greeting to use in the morning when you wake up 8 a.m. around breakfast time. Repeat, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon is a great greeting to use around lunchtime. Good evening. Repeat, good evening. Good evening is a great greeting to use around dinner time. So make sure that when I say repeat, you repeat the words at home because you have to repeat, practice to finally own the word. So one more time. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. What time is it right now where you're at? If you saw me walking down the street and want to say hello, would you say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening? Okay, well, good day to you too. In addition, you want to introduce yourself to people. Let them know your name. You can easily say, hello, my name is Miss Maestra. What's your name? Why don't you try it, but plug in your name. Say, hello, my name is, try one more time, I didn't hear you. Hello, my name is, and fill in the blank with your name. I like it, nice to meet you. Repeat one more time, it's nice to meet you. This is a great phrase to wrap up the conversation when you're meeting someone. They may repeat back to you, it's nice to meet you too. Repeat, it's nice to meet you too. The T-O-O, to. -O -O, very similar to the number two, but when you see T-O-O, -O, that means also. So they can also say, it's nice to meet you also. So I want you to try this complete phrase on your own. I want you to try it on your own without me. It's nice to meet you too. Good job. So the sun, it's coming up, it's eight o'clock in the morning. How would you greet me? Did you say good morning? Well, you were right. So try it. Good morning. Hello, my name is, nice to meet you. What about now? The time has changed. The sun is right above you, it's around lunchtime. How would you greet me? Perfect, it is good afternoon. So fill in the blank. That's right, it's hello, my name is, nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too. It's evening, how, what, well, yeah, I said it for you, you're right, good evening. This is a great way, maybe you're going to dinner, we're meeting, good evening. Now practice the phrase. Perfect, nice to meet you too. Look, so now you have greetings down. There's no reason not to speak to a stranger today. So repeat, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Repeat a little faster, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, perfect. 
When learning a language, the most important thing you must remember is to practice it. Practice it, practice it with your children, with your family, with your friends, with your neighbors, with your colleagues at work. Also repeat, repeat the vocabularies. As soon as there's a new word that you've learned, repeat it over and over and over and ask someone to help you with the pronunciation. Because once you practice it, once you repeat it, you then begin to own the word and it becomes yours and no one could take that away from you. So practice, repeat, and own it. Thank you again for watching Easy English with Miss Maestra.